What is going on, people? It's your boy, Ketchup, aka Astro, coming at you with Shonen Ketchup, episode 12, your weekly anime news show, bringing you the best news in Shonen and other anime greatness. Thank you so much to everybody that hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. These recent videos have been doing very well, and if you have recently subscribed, I would just like to welcome you to the Ketchup family. There's going to be a lot of things that we do on this channel, and we're still in the very early stages of stuff. So I just want to say that I am very appreciative that you clicked that button. If you have not already clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and join the family. It is my birthday this week. If you want to give your boy Astro a little birthday present, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Onward to this week's news. This week, wow, 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 wow. Out with the old, in with the new. That is honestly the best way I could put this right now. We have Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, Attack on Titan, The Promised Neverland, and Ray Zero all airing their final episode this week. As of the recording of this video, I, be I believe Ray Zero is actually uh, finished uh, with their showing of the final episode. So yes, a lot of really, really big series that have been very popular this season are ending. Which, you know, it's bad in the sense that we won't have that Jujutsu Kaisen greatness every week. And, you know, Black Clover is ending indefinitely. Um, it's questionable if it will come back at all based on where the manga is. But I suppose time will tell there. And then, of course, Attack on Time, which was the golden shell of the season of anime, will be airing its final episode after the double release that we got uh, this recent week. So, specifically, I did say out with the old, in with the new. However... We do have some news of some continuations and more content for a lot of these series that you have grown to love. Black Clover has been on the air for upwards of three years, and to have a run like that just from jump of that amount of time with really only a short break happening due to the pandemic, it is very, very impressive personally if you ask me. And you know, Black Clover got some hate at the beginning, um, kind of understood at the beginning, you know, with all the screaming, but I think the series has really grown and shown, you know, that it is its own thing. You know, what I'll say about Black Clover, very much like Bleach, their openings always hit. Anytime you hear a Black Clover opening, you know it's about to be fire. I've actually uh, been introduced to a lot of great Japanese artists as well, uh, thanks to uh, you know the Black Clover opening. So very grateful for that, and I think it was a really enjoyable series. I personally am maybe 10 or 20 episodes behind, but I uh, definitely plan to binge that all since we are closing in on that. So. In terms of Black Clover, we actually have an announcement. Not sure if you could see my screen already, but we'll just do a little zoom in so you might be able to see that better. So this is the Shonen Jump News on official Twitter. Um, this is at WSJ underscore manga. Again, this is not official. However, they are a pretty good source for information when it does come to Shonen. And of course, I am Shonen Ketchup, so I have to give them a little shout out there. Black Clover's announcement has been confirmed to be an upcoming movie for the series. As you know with Black Clover, uh, they were teasing an announcement for the final episode, which should be this week. So we know now that it has been confirmed to be a movie, which seems to be the way that a lot of anime is going. I don't know if it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, Demon Slayer's theatrical success. Because um, a lot of a lot of live series are, you know, adding more content in theaters. So definitely look, look out for that as we get more information. I may even do a separate video on that, but we will move to the next topic as this is just the new show. Speaking of movies, Jujutsu Kaisen may also be planning a movie. Like I said, this is like the Demon Slayer effect, you know? See how well it does, you get a good anime run, and then you go right into a movie. So, according to a new news report, we saw that a domain was registered. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen movie has been registered. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen hyphen movie.jp. So, we know that that's been official registered, and we don't have official confirmation yet. But, you know, uh, it's worth bringing up that we very well could see a Jujutsu Kaisen movie right now. And the anime has been so successful that the sales of Gege Akutama's original manga have multiplied tenfold. So, uh, Geje Akutama, um, pretty sure is the mangaka for Jujutsu Kaisen, but, you know, that's some pretty big success to see your sales multiply tenfold. Man, if I, uh, multiplied my sales tenfold, if I multiplied my subscribers tenfold, I would cry, I would cry. I would sing all of you a love song. I, maybe, maybe. Don't hold me to that. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll celebrate that. Um, so yeah, you know, there's an official prequel to the series that was confirmed to be canon. 
during the events of the Shibuya Incident arc. Um, I don't really want to go too much into the manga content, but if you're a Jujutsu Kaisen fan and or Jujutsu Kaisen fan and you're upset that the anime is slated to end this week, well, great news: a movie is in the works, supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> Speaking of out with the old, in with the new, another favorite. We just we're just swapping, you know. It is a great time for anime. I've been saying that season seasons we just have hitters on hitters. Class is back in session. As I mentioned, My Hero season five uh, was going to be showing soon, and it's actually beginning on Saturday, March twenty seventh, which is my birthday. So if you do happen to be watching on that day or near that day, show me some love, give me a little birthday shout out. Now I'm saying, but yeah, yeah. Saturday, which is the 27th. Uh, not only will I be celebrating my birthday, but I will be watching the first episode of My Hero Academia. So, uh, not too much more to talk about here. We know that they'll be going up against the other classes. This is the main synopsis of this part. So, you know, that is beginning on March 27th. So, if you are a My Hero Academia fan, please, please, please take notice to that. Lastly, speaking of films, we really, 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 really have to talk about the success that films have had obviously we saw demon slayer have a really really long theatrical run at that number one spot overtaking even spirited away worldwide and in japan uh, demon slayer is actually down to seventh according to anime news network after 23 weekends but you know to be at seventh after 23 weekends virtually half a year is uh still very impressive evangelion three plus one don't know why they didn't call it evangelion four two plus two is four minus one that's three quick maths that's look cool 3.0 plus 1.0 thrice upon a time it's number one and it's number one in the box office for the second weekend so far it's sold 423k tickets which is about uh 600 6.25 million so you know we're talking a lot of cabbage here ladies and gentlemen we're talking that GameStop money right now <laughs> we're talking that yeah that's uh that, that's a nice amount to sell in two weekends so again uh, i can't help but think that you know the success that these anime movies are seeing in theaters lately uh is incentivizing you know a lot more uh studios and anime creators to you know put movies out but uh, it brings a good question for what the remainder of the attack on titan series will be because it's evident to i guess everybody even non-manga readers that they're not gonna be able to finish the series within one episode so i am personally hoping for a part two i think it would not make a lot of sense for them to just throw away money because it's been well received and i'm sure that uh ratings have been really good for it as well but it's also possible that we see an attack on titan uh part two as a movie which again i don't feel that an hour and a half to even like two hours will be enough i think we definitely need a part two but time will tell well that has been it mostly for this week we got a shorter episode and i'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes to keep all the information super concise if i get more information on any of the things in these videos i will be posting specific videos addressing them that uh, speak a little bit more in depth if you think that's a good idea and you've been watching from the start and you and you, and you like kind of the shorter formats with uh dedicated videos throughout the week let me know in the comments uh because of course we're trying different things and i would love to make it to 75 well, you know i'd love to make it to 100 but realistically i think it's very possible you know if you help me out and you click that subscribe button i very well could make it to 75 subscribers before the next episode which would be a beautiful birthday wish for you boy astro speaking of birthdays on march 25th we have the birthday of kobayashi yusuke who is the voice of subaru and also senku and arthur from fire force so happy birthday to him and once again thank you if you made it to the end of the video i appreciate it so much and if you have subscribed already thank you so much for joining the community you will not regret it we got big things on the horizon well this has been your boy astro shonen catch up episode 12 if you enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like leave a comment you enjoy the rest of your day it's beautiful out peace